Hello guys, I'm back with another brand new video. I'm Harris and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about how to fix CPU usage in RDR1 because many of the players face lag, freezing, and stuttering kind of issue in their game. So I decided to make a video on this. And uh, if you're new on the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it to your friends, and without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, first of all, you need to simply download the pack, link in the description below, use the mega link and download the pack. Once you download the pack, um, here's the file, RDR1 CPU usage pack. Here you need to simply extract the pack first and then you can see the folder here. Open this folder and in this folder you can see uh, five different uh, packs. So first of all, we need to install um, GX12 in our PC because most people use GX11 uh, in their PC. That's why they face lag, freezing, and stuttering kind of issue. So simply open GX folder and uh, here double click on GX12. And here you need to accept the agreement. Click to next. Install the Bing bar. It's optional, so it's up to you. Click to next and wait for it. It takes few seconds, and it's done. Now click to finish and get back and now move to the uh, next folder for your RAM optimization. Simply open this folder, double click on the file, it's a registry file so simply click yes and ok. That's it. Now get back and uh, now move to the third folder named visual uh, retributions so in this folder uh, you can find all the visual files um, like 2005 to 2015 so simply double click on install all and uh, it takes few uh, minutes and and it install all the visual c++ software in your pc just simply click to yes, click to ok and it takes some time so wait for it so ok guys that's it now get back and now move to the um, next uh, step yeah, here you need to find the quick CPU setup so right click on it extract here and now you see um, two folders x32 and x64 so we need to go to the x64 folder double click on the quick cpu click to next accept the agreement click to next okay in c drive click to install so that's it now click to finish it's installed and here's the interface so guys now you need to um, go to the system power plan settings set to high performance and set as active and uh, set as active and down below you can see the core parking index, turbo boost index, frequency scaling index. Simply um, all of these three options set to 100 and then simply click apply. Changes are applied, simply click OK, click to close. OK. Now we get back and now we'll move to the last pack step, uh, jet boost. Simply extract here and install jetpost in your pc click to next agree accept the agreement and click to next okay click to next and that's it it's installed click to finish click to finish and uh, now simply one click on boost button it takes few seconds and it's now one more time click to restore and now it's done now guys the pack steps are complete and uh, now we need to simply 
uh, delete some bad cache file in our PC. So for this, you need to window key plus R. And uh, here you need to type prefetch p r e f e t c h. Click OK. Click to continue. Control A. Select all and delete all of these bad files in our in your system. And all current items. Click to skip and that's it. Now one more time. Press Window key plus R. And this time you need to type uh, percentage temp t e m p again percentage click the ok and uh, control a select all and delete all of these bad files in your system it takes few minutes so wait for it because many bad files are here so mark the option click to next again click to next so ok that's it now close the tab and now you guys you need to simply open your uh, task manager here and guys you need to now uh, we need to free our cpu space from here uh, because many unnecessary apps running in the background so we need to um, end task uh, these, these kinds of application like before um, uh, after before playing your game you need to open your task manager and remove all the unnecessary applications running the background simply right click on it and and task um, it so that's it and uh, in the end guys you just need to simply uh, restart your PC and uh, after that before playing your game simply one more time check your cpu space by opening task manager and if your cpu is below the 50 percent then you good to go so guys that's it for today i hope this video um, helps you to play rdr1 uh, without any lag or freezing kind of issue so we will meet in the next one until then peace out